Hi, my name is Adam Driscoll, and today we're going to be looking at PowerShell Pro Tools um, for Visual Studio, and we're going to take a look at the form designer uh, that is included with uh, the extension. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is ensure that you have both PowerShell Pro Tools and PowerShell Tools for Visual Studio installed inside Visual Studio. You can get both of them from the PowerShell or the Visual Studio Gallery. Um, right in Visual Studio or uh, going to the gallery or marketplace itself uh, in a web browser. Once those are installed, you'll be able to click File, New Project, and you'll have a PowerShell project type where you can select uh, a new type of PowerShell project. Uh, for this particular demonstration, we're going to be using a PowerShell script project. So let's actually create um, an application to show uh, titles of random Wikipedia articles. So we'll call random wiki article. Create that project. You can see that now we have a, a script and a project over here on the right hand side in our solution explorer that contains this individual script. In order to start creating our uh, form, what we want to do is right click on a random wiki article, click add new item, and select form. So let's do a main form and click add. Uh, a couple things have been added to our project. First, the uh, main form.ps1, which includes the script here, which brings or dot sources the uh, main form designer.ps1, and then calls show dialog on main form uh, to actually pop up the window. If we look at main form.designer.ps1, this is actually the code that is generated by the designer to uh, show the uh, Windows form. If we double click on main form.ps1, it'll actually bring up the designer uh, inside Visual Studio. This is the same designer that you can use in C Sharp and BB.net. Um, on the bottom right hand side here, you'll see the, the properties window. Uh, selecting any one of the controls inside this designer will actually uh, change the, the values inside this property window to the actual uh, control that you have selected. You have all the properties that you would normally see in a Windows form app available to you. For example, if we wanted to change the title of this form to uh, include um, the uh, title of our application, we could do random wiki article. And now you can see over here in our form, random wiki article has changed. So let's actually implement the code for random wiki article. You can change the size and then click the toolbox uh, window to actually see all the different controls that are available to us uh, in this designer. So I'm going to add a, a text box, text box itself. Um, we're going to actually set this text box to read only because it's just going to be uh, displaying um, text. It's not actually for typing in text. And then um, I'm going to name this text box text uh, article name oops text article name and then let's actually add a button to add that text so create a button the properties change for that button um, we're going to call it random article save that now we have a button and a text box so now that I have my form designed, what I could actually do is add event handlers to this form. Uh, all the event handlers are um, visible in the properties window if you click the events button here. In this case, uh, the default event is the click event. So if I double click this button, it will generate the button to click event. Um, I can access all my controls uh, from the form. So I have main form, text, article name is the uh, name of my control and I want to actually grab the text property for that and set it to a value. Uh, in order to grab a random Wikipedia article name what I can do is call invoke web request uh, special dot random dot uh, in wikipedia dot org it'll return a random Wikipedia article to me I can call random parsed HTML dot title and set the text of that particular text box to the title of the random article I've returned. Then I can press Start uh, or F5 to start my application. You can see now that I have uh, my form up and running, I can click Random Article. It'll actually go out to um, 
Wikipedia and get a random article and put it into my text box. Uh, this particular script now is composed of two different scripts, the um, main form designer.ps1 as well as uh, the designer code that was generated for this particular form. In order to package that into a single script, what we can use is the built-in packaging utilities. If you hit properties on the uh, project itself, go to advanced, select uh, the form as your entry point and click bundle uh, it will actually bundle those two scripts together click save right click and click build and it will actually output the actual bundle result for you um, and that will be a combined version of the two scripts so I hope this was an informative introduction into the uh, form designer for PowerShell Pro Tools for Visual Studio Visit poshtools.com to get a trial license or purchase a license um, and go ahead and start building your forms today.